We have two scripture readings today. Our first one is from First John. It's chapter four, verses eighteen and nineteen. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. And the second reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 7 and 8. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened. May the Lord add its blessing to the reading and hearing of his holy word. Our guest speaker today is Mike Drum. He's not really a guest. He's, he's one of us. <laughs> and um, I was trying to think of how I knew Mike and when I met Mike, and I can't remember. I've known Mike for so long. It just seems like I've just always known Mike. He's always been here at church. We've been on his history together. He's been one of the Bible school helpers from the very beginning. So I'm really thrilled and excited that Mike has overcome his fear and will be speaking to us today. He chose scriptures about fear. And I thought that was so perfect because fear is what everyone on consistory felt whenever Pastor Pete said he was taking two Sundays off of church. <laughs> and we knew we were going to have to fill, fill the pulpit. We were all very fearful that we were the ones who were going to have to speak or to give a sermon. So we're all very grateful to you, Mike, for overcoming your fear and volunteering to come and share your message with us today. So I'd like to ask Mike to come on up to the pulpit and share with us today. Thanks, Mike. Well, I'm not done yet, so just hold on. <laughs> wow. Um, here I am again. It's been a year. I just want to thank the consistory for inviting me back. So if this goes sideways, everybody knows who's playing. <laughs> I want to start off with talking about fear. And I'm not talking fear of like scary clowns or chickens in some people's cases. I'm talking about that fear that keeps us from doing what we want to do, what we need to do, what we feel that we need to do. It's that it's that voice that gets in our face. Our voice that says, what do you think you're doing? You really think you're good enough? And all the while in the back, and I'm going to go to another voice too. It's, a, it's that, that voice we all know. It's that little voice. The one that's right here. The good voice. The one that says, I'm here. I can help you with this. While that other voice is right here, and it's loud, and it's, it, it torments us, it upsets us, it makes us doubt ourselves. There's that other voice, and we know who that is. He's right here with me right now, helping me to talk to you folks. My church family, my, my family's here, no pressure. <laughs> but it helps me to do what I'm doing today. Um, it helps me to get through the hard times. It helps me to make decisions. It helps me to, when that voice of doubt is in my face, and I mean it's loud, but there's that little voice going, hey, look, the doubting voice is right here and it's loud and it's in my face. It could be another person, but nine times out of 10, it's me, it's in my own head. It's doubting myself. But it's that little voice that's on the side, it goes, Mike, I'm right here with you. I can help you through this, trust me. I made it up here. I trust him. I trust him to help me to give the words to you. Wait, my mom was crying. But that's that voice, that loud voice. That other voice that helps me to talk to you folks and go, you know what? He's here with me. He's helping me to tell you. Be brave. Listen to that small voice. And sometimes to hear that small voice you have to be able to put all the other stuff aside. I know we all have our, our list of needs and, our, and everything that crowds our lives and everything that just flows in and collapses on top of us. 
But there are times that you have to go away from that. You have to go to a place that's quiet. You have to go to a place that's, that's by yourself. A time where you can just go and block everything else out. Because once you do that, once you, once you invite God in, once you invite him into your life and your thoughts, I really truly believe that there's nothing you cannot do. He wants to help us. He wants to love us. He knows us. No one knows us like God. He knows us inside and out. He's known us since before we were born. But he still loves us. The good, the bad, all of our sins, all of our wants, all of our desires. And he still loves us. That is the, that is the amazing part to me. That no matter where we are, no matter what we do, he loves us. And he's always there. He's always there. He's always here, right beside all of us, right here. And he tells us that it's going to be okay. No matter what we're going through, no matter what kind of decisions we have to make, if we put it on him, he will help us. The Bible says to be in prayer all the time. And I totally agree. I try to be. Through the good times when you're going, oh, bless you, Lord. Thank you for this. Or those bad times when we're saying, man, I really could use your help. But you have to be quiet and listen for the answer. It may not come right away. You know he's always going to help us through. Every bit of it. But you have to ask. You have to let him in. He has to become part of our lives. He has to be. It's not just a, well, no, it has to be all the time. Because if you don't, that voice that makes you doubt yourself is going to be so loud. It'll crush you. It will. I've been there. I know it. Once you let that voice in, the voice of God, you got to listen for it. Because it's not going to be that loud voice. It's going to be that little whisper. Just that little voice that's going to say, you can do this. You can make it through this. That's the one I try to listen to. And like everybody else, that loud voice, he will convince you. But it's all lies. They're all lies. Those lies that tell you that you can't do this. What are you trying for? Who do you think you, who do you, think you are? God steps in and goes, you're my child. That's who you are. I've known you forever. That's the voice you have to trust. The voice of self-doubt, the voice that makes us question ourselves and our situations. Don't let it overrule your life. There's only one person who wants to help you. Him. He wants to love us. He does love us for everything. What's easier than that? We have a Father that loves us no matter what and wants to help us through every bit of it. You have to fall back. He wants to love us. He wants to take us in his arms. Let him. Let him. Fall back. Regroup, but with God. That's where it has to be. Where it needs to, that's where he wants to be. He wants to be with us. He wants to help us. I think that's all we really need to remember. Is that God loves us. Through everything. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. He loves us. He never gives up on us. He never will. No matter how hard, how, how hard we push back. He loves us. That's all we need to remember. I thank you for the time. I really do. My church family, my family, he loves us all. That's all I can say. Be there. He wants to be there with us. But you have to ask. Open the door. He'll come in. He loves to. He wants to. He's already there. Let him have every, every bit of problems you have. Put it at his feet. The voice of fear is just a lie. We're all better than that. Every last one of us.
you can take it from here and do something with it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to share what you have with others. That little voice is going to come in and say, what do you know? Why are you talking to these people? Share it with them. Ask God for help. He wants to. He loves us. Every one of us. And I thank you.